I'm at the new Wanu Trail. It's part of the Hurt 100 ultramarathon course. And uh, how did it come to this? That we seek something hard, something gritty, well, it evolved. And this video is about my friend, Jonathan Braden. And this is about his Western States 100, 100 mile endurance run. Back in 2004, I trained for my first Ironman, Ironman New Zealand. And I remember popping in this documentary while I ran on the treadmill, the Bad Water 135. It was about this ultra marathoners who ran from the Death Valley and finished 135 miles later at Mount Whitney in scorching heat. So they were my inspiration. I thought ultra marathoners are tough. Iron Man is tough, I respect that distance, but I thought ultras are tougher. In 2005, I met Jonathan Brayton at UCSF Medical Center and we became friends. I told him I did triathlons and I encouraged him to do so. He was a little bit overweight at that time, somewhere between 200 to 210, and we started doing shorter distance triathlon sprints, Olympics, and then it evolved. It got longer. We got into century rides. We did the death ride. Then we started doing road marathons. And there, there's this book called The Ultra Marathon Man by Dean Karnazes. And Jonathan and I read that. And then there was this other book Born to Run about a ragtag bunch of ultramarathoners who went to the Copper Canyons in Mexico and ran with the Tarahumara Indians. And we knew what was next. We thought that if we did ultras, we'll get better at Ironmans. So in 2007, I got Jonathan to sign up and I told him, buddy, you're ready. However, January of that year, I got diagnosed with a brain tumor. And it wasn't until three months before Iron Man Louisville, Kentucky, that I was given the signal to train. And I thought to myself, I dragged my friend into this. I gotta train very hard because I want to finish with him. And Jonathan did his first Ironman triathlon. Fast forward to several years later, we did more Ironmans. We actually did Ironman for the lane together, Cozumel, Lake Placid, and then I went to grad school and Jonathan started doing ultras. And when I came back, he asked me to pace him for his very first 100 mile distance tri uh, ultra marathon, the Tahoe Rim Trail. And thus began our partnership in ultra marathons. He has done Tau Rim Trail, Havelina 100, San Diego, Pine to Palm, and I crewed and I paced him, and this guy is tough. All of those 100 milers he was able to finish under 24 hours. I see him suffer. However, he's able to pull himself together and have a strong finish. This is the van. 
ready for Western States. All the stuff that Jonathan will need is in this little van. And of course, some of my stuff too. Like the year where it was like 105, it was like one of the hottest years. Um, but they're, they're traditionally in that 60 to 70 percent of the finisher rate. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? Good, man. Excited, ready to go. It's been Good. a long, long time. Wow, what, uh, seven years to uh, get you to the big dance? Seven years of actually, six years of actually applying. Uh huh. And I mean, we've been, and it's been 10 years since we actually first brought this up back when we were doing Iron Man. So this has been a, like a little seed that it planted like 10 years ago. Yeah. And finally, it's finally I got in and this weekend. Wonderful. It's yeah. going to be an epic day, man. It we'll will make be. Make it an epic day. Can't wait. Yeah. Excellent. Well, here we are walking the first three and a half, four and a half miles of the race. Starts the journey westward. Beautiful high country, streams, waterfalls, snow packs all around. Definitely feel the elevation a little bit. Luckily, the high point comes really early by a floor 8,800 feet. And then it's all downhill from there. <laughs> cool. So uh, this will be our fifth uh, time doing a hundred miler as runner and the crew and pacer. So it's been a wonderful trip uh, for me as well because uh, I have a first-hand learning experience and I'm on the uh, accelerated 100-mile uh, running program here. All I have to do is follow this guy and learn from him and uh, I do all the mistakes. <laughs> he doesn't have to do them. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so one day I will be uh, eventually running this. That's the goal. But that's okay. I don't mind making the mistakes because he did the same for me, get me in an Ironman many, many years ago. I know. And I never made those mistakes he made her, yeah. so <laughs> I'm just returning the favor. Yeah. So here we are at Squaw Valley. This is the Friday before the race, the six kilometer ultra uphill challenge. I'm sitting off here to the side waiting for Jonathan to come on by. There he is. There he goes. All the way up. shoes in the morning yeah mm, second best after coffee yeah <laughs> plus something out of that plus two bites of balls cool something like that two so balls and two balls so what's my goal to what have balls? You? two balls just in coconut water right. <laughs> is my goal just to feed you two like balls and two coconut balls water and coconut water butter and jelly yeah. and coconut yeah, water like buffs, and have? Gold. yeah i'll have i'll have a buff and a visor Okay. Do you have two to exchange at each one where we can they can fill you with the new one or you just have to refill no, what you got? No, I'll on? just refill what I, I mean the buff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, just I'll just keep the same one on. Yeah, keep the same one. I'll just uh, keep it wet and keep yeah. it, it It's such a hot race and arid. I, I got, you know, uh, I got totally wet early on and it dried in like three minutes. Yeah. I probably went overkill with the food. 
But I just remember at San Diego get, getting so behind. Mm -hmm. And it would have been really good just to sit down and like, like before Jody and I took off, probably just was like, like making me finish that sandwich because I was obviously, I needed the calories obviously yeah. at that point. I've got a very good handle of number one, assessing you when you come in. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a feedback, give and take, you know, questions from me, answers from you. And then we will have to have always a range. Yeah. As far as uh, the hydration and, and the calories, you 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 have accumulated a bunch of smart decisions along the way throughout the day. That sets up the the best possible outcome. Yeah. These little choices that we make. You know what else? I I also has been in the back of my mind too. What? Since we saw it. Oh, maybe three or four years ago now. In the, uh, the Tahoe 200. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jonathan's gonna kick butt tomorrow. That's right. He's on it, like white on rice. That's, that's what we've decided. <laughs> Literally, because we're getting rice balls for him. That's right. I think every one of his crew stops, he wants rice balls. So, we do <laughs> yeah. what he says. What, 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 what did Jody say? You know, like... I'm gonna give him balls. Oh, right. Right. Two balls, yeah. Two balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, David, can you, I have you on speaker for Jonathan. Can, can you hear me? I can. Hey, how are you doing, man? You, you, how are you? I'm well. You're coming up in the morning? All right, man. D day. Here we are, buddy. Oh, yeah, it's 419. Yeah. 41 minutes to go time. It's been a long six year wait, but we're finally here. All right, cool. Get it done, man. It's game time. Hashtag game time. Business trip. Nothing but business today. Yep. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. There we go. Drive safely. Hold on, I'm gonna get up there and get a picture of you coming out. Drive safely. Don't have too much fun in that car without me. <laughs> All right, man. Take care. All right, buddy. Stick to the plan. We will. All right. I'll see you at Robinson. Very good. I know all of you. Even if there's a moment where you're kind of tired, maybe a little down in the dumps, smile and think about it. Think about how happy you need to be. This is where you're going to end up at the end of this wonderful journey. That's right. Good luck, Jonathan.
didn't really felt overheated. I just I ran out of fluid coming out of Duncan Canyon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, imagine you can have you here. Okay. This is the ice cap. You look great, John. This will last you longer than your hat, John. Yeah. Okay. No, uh, go empty uh, these uh, things. Yeah. 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 Balance it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, one more, Jonathan. Give us a thumbs up, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like coaching. Okay. You have just don't stop eating. <laughs> yeah, just don't stop eating. You're like a you're like NASCAR at the pit stop here. Right? You guys are great. Was what a great crew down. you have, Jonathan. <laughs> oh, did you wish him a happy birthday? Is today his it's birthday? Actually... So oh. for his birthday, I decided I'd let him come out and crew me. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. I know, right? Okay. We're at three and a half minutes. So... Your hat and your buff in your back, okay? Okay. So, so you got about four miles to the next aid station. Four, okay. How that goes. You got it on? Make sure it's tight. As you go. That will last oh, you a good 20 minutes, okay? It's not all very good. It's not yeah. It might fall off, yeah. but then if, uh, the ice is good enough, you know, you're just going to have to switch uh, it, okay? Okay. Two? We're at four and a half yeah. minutes. Yeah. We are at four and a half minutes, schedule. Jonathan. We're at a good time. So you've got two minutes, you've hand. got food. Nice Where's and cold, just gone? water. Do we have ice in the back? Yeah. All right. Lots of ice. Oh, Lots of ice. These are on top. I think I'm good. You are good. Oh, yeah. Are you cold? Yeah. She's cold. Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's fine. All right. Time? Looking good. Seven and a half. Okay, you need some blocks if you need some blocks. We are at Michigan Bluff. Jonathan looked great at Robinson's flat, came in at 11.45, stayed at the H station at 7.5 minutes. We did everything as planned, on script. They looked great. Uh, we are on a, yeah, what, what? Play mile run right now? Yeah, because it's going to take him a long time to get here. So. Uh, We'll keep you updated. Hey, you look great! Uh, we're at uh, Michigan Bluff. Who's waiting here? And David, Jody uh, looks like, uh, I don't know how many beers she's had already, but I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, we are expecting Jonathan at around 4, um, it is now 5.30, uh, he checked in at uh, Dusty Corners at 2.35, Devil's Thumb at 4.10, now we are expecting him to be here around 6.30 or 6.40, so uh, we really need to uh, patch him up. Lots of calories, lots of cooling, lots of hydration. So just take the time for him to uh, uh, recover. That's it. Oh, uh, how are you? He needs. Uh, do you have his socks or no? Do you have his socks or no? No socks. Okay, we'll get you socks in the shower at. Uh, at IV. Are you not?
want the aided or all? No, no, no. Just low energy. Just low energy. Okay. Like a like that car So, it looks like this is the coat and you'll patch out the clown if you want to get out. How's your leg? I mean, if you don't find, I actually, like, you have some popsicles and so people do use just eat between here and the forest. So take your time and eat, okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, El Dorado? Yeah. I like bomb that thing. I had like this whole surge of energy. Nice. Yeah. 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 So, uh, John, can I add some of this? Yeah. Right here. Water. Yeah. So next is eating. Yeah. Now, I think I have four so what I want to do is, is try to put the sock like over these as yeah. another layer. Uh, is, is it in the night bag? Yeah, it's right. then we have it. So you'll have it over here. No, we have it now, right? Uh, right. Yeah. It's funny, we did that triathlon the same year. You guys probably did better than me, though. Got it, and Gingy's in here, Jonathan. That's what I want. I'm just going to put those over. This has another layer of protector. These are just really thin. Do you want to keep these on? Yeah. Okay. Cool out. All right. There's water here. We've got water here. Is it water? Yeah. Running man also is big time. What is this? Why? Because we see they're running. This. I ate, I ate probably half of it. I took a big bite. Just, it's really dense. Water. Yeah, I drink all both things of water. All right. We need oh, to give him water. The shoes. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch out my shoes real quick. So you have, uh, you can grab. Uh, oh, they call Rocky Chucky on the near side of the river. Uh, we are expecting Jonathan to arrive maybe around 11.10 to 11.30 and uh, we'll bring him home. He looked better when he left uh, uh, Forest Hill. Uh, he really looked so depleted at uh, Michigan Bluff but uh, we fed him a lot. We had him drink and we took our time to just patch him up and uh, he is recovering. This is uh, my fifth time being with Jonathan. He knows how to be able to uh, pull it together as long as uh, he knows how to follow directions, period. <laughs> and I'm, uh, we usually get him, we've, we've been able to get him under 24 hours, so we're, uh, we have a big job to do in order to do that, uh, but we'll, we will give it a try still. How's it going? Cool, oh, coolness yeah. feels better, huh? Yeah. Let's refill, John. Oh. John, then sit down so we can refill. You're going to have a seat? Yeah, go ahead and get a seat so we can have a refill. Okay. Oh, what would you in? like? Did your energy Actually, levels that, get better? Do you have the coconut water? I'll do one of those. If it's close uh, by. We do not. I don't know if we have any more. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. I think we're going to go down to 
Six minutes into this, we're on our way to Pointed Rocks. We're hiking there. We're gonna get this done. Western States, buckle. Number five. Number five. You hear that? Number five. Tough day, but he's plugging along. Right, buddy? Getting it done. That's right. It's runnable. No, we run it. Pretty soon, we're in the single digits now. About seven more miles. There you go. <laughs> we're about maybe uh, six miles. Yep. Almost done here. Yeah, strong work. Tough day. The best part. Oh, I see you guys for sure. oh, the best part is about to come, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. You can smell it. Single digits. Yeah.
Jonathan Brayton from Novato, California. It's his first Western States. He's done four other hundreds. Jonathan Brayton from Novato. These are David Smith and Jonathan Pasquale. David, Jonathan, Jody, and she, his crew, his wife, Amy, and his two boys, Jacob and Dylan. And this is Jonathan Brayton from Nevada. Nice. Yeah! Woo! Nice job, Jonathan. Wait, we let you in the race? Huh? <laughs> we let you in the race? When did that happen? I just wanted to surprise you <laughs> at the finish here. Oh, oh thanks. Although I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to thank you for letting me in right now. <laughs> Is it kind of boring? Oh, shit. They're not as festive as we were. I didn't have entertainment. Thank you so much. had a great time. Yeah. You did it! All right, kids. You did it! All right, good job, buddy. Tough, tough all, huh? able to be at the front seat and learn about ultramarathons, learn about the community. And it is pretty amazing how we realize that ultras is about dreams, success, and failure. And even though it seems like it's a very individual event, your referral fellow ultra runners rally to help go places to help you in your most hardest and deepest holes. They will pull you up in order for you to realize your dream. And I remember when Jonathan and I did Tau Rim Trail. Jonathan's wife Amy instructed me safe and bring him back in one piece a towel red trail and I've done that and my friend has done that for me 